two, three, you would call it go. Well, Lauren Stevenson, you're the first round leader from the morning wave, six under the card, best score we've seen in the morning conditions. There's a million ways to shoot 66. How did you choose to do it? Yeah, it was a great day. I had seven birdies and one bogey. Unfortunately, my bogey, I missed a short, short putt. But I made a lot of really good putts on the other holes, so I couldn't be too upset about it. You teed off the ninth hole, so you played the back nine or back ten first. That's where mm -hmm. we seem to see most of the good scoring come in the morning. Any reason for that in particular? Yeah, I think those holes are really scorable, so it's important to start off good. And I started off with a birdie on my second hole um, and then just continued that, had three birdies in a row. Um, so, yeah, overall the back nine is obviously really important and it was great to go into some of the harder holes knowing that I had already had a couple birdies. Conditions were perfect this morning. Just as you hit off your last hole, the eighth, we started to see the wind swirl a bit. Mm -hmm. What do you expect from the afternoon of those players who will probably face a bit of breeze? I think there will still be some low scores. There's a lot of good par fives. Um, there's a lot of birdie chances, but there are also a lot of tough holes that you've got to kind of scramble for par on some holes. Um, but I'm sure we'll see good scores this afternoon too. Keys to this course, do you feel? Uh, keeping it in play and leaving it below the hole because you can have some really tricky putts on these greens and I feel like for the most part today I gave myself a lot of good uphill birdie chances um, so that's definitely really helpful. We know almost nothing about you. I know you were a rookie on the LPGA last year. That's yeah. about all we know. We know you played the Vic Open and the Australian Women's Open. Firstly, tell us quickly about yourself, a bit of your background, and secondly, how you've enjoyed Australia so far. Yeah, so I'm from South Carolina. I played golf at Alabama. Last year was my rookie season, and I love Australia. I'm super happy to be here for a month. I think I would move here if I didn't live in the U.S., but <laughs> the people are so nice. The golf is so fun. Uh, this course is extremely different to what we played the last two weeks at the Vic and the Australian Open, but this course is amazing. And it's kind of nice to play something that's more familiar to me because my courses at home have a lot of grain similar to this style, so it's like I felt like at home. I've not been there, but it feels quite Florida to me. It's humid, the grainy grass, the different yeah. colors. It's, it's kind of Florida-esque, isn't it? Yeah, and being from South Carolina, it's very humid, so yesterday was very familiar to me. Like so stuffy but I've enjoyed it so far so I'm excited for this week. We've well, got the first round lead, what do you do this afternoon and what unfolds for the rest of the week? Have you had a first round lead before? Um, I have had a first round lead before, not in a while, but um, I mean it's the first day. I've got a lot of golf left so this afternoon I'll probably just take it easy, maybe go to the beach. Um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of the week is my plan. I'm, I feel like I'm playing good golf so I'm not going to stress too much. Today. Best luck for the rest of the week. Thank you.